Welcome to my channel. This is Miss V here with a requested videos. Um, Sanal of Beautiful Gems <clears throat> requested that I make a video showing how I made this beautiful shirt. See that stone going down? Thank you, Jesus. Um, this beautiful um shirt that I made with the heart and the word family in the middle, and I'm gonna make another one. And the items we're going to use today is another Dollar Tree. This is a Dollar Tree t-shirt, 100% cotton for $1. Another Dollar Tree t-shirt. And today I'm going to use the gold glitter. You know, I like to use items I already have. I didn't have any more red. And plus, I didn't want both of the shirts to be the same. So I'm going to do the gold glitter for the heart. And I'm going to use some black iron-on. These are iron-on vinyls, both of them. And this black iron-on for the word family. And I'm going to use this weed too. And I'll show you what I do, do with it later in the video. So, let's get started. In the next clip, you'll see me at the computer. I already have this heart saved. Whenever I do projects on my Cricut machine, um, I save the project because I never know when I may have to do it again. So, that way you don't have to try to figure out what font you used and all that good stuff. So, I learned it the hard way when I first started working with my Cricut. And also, I will link a, I will link a video showing you how I decorated this Dollar Tree hat from the Dollar Tree, just a regular gray hat. And I put a little glitter on the button too, glitter, glitter, and my little lips. Love you. <laughs> anyway, and also I will link a card showing how I got my Cricut, my three hundred dollar Cricut machine for free. Yes, free. F R E E. Stay tuned for that. Um, so, I'll see you at the computer. Alright, now we at the computer and I went into my projects right here. Like, as you do a project, I always save it if I think I may do it again. But these are all the projects I've done in the past. So, this is the one we're going to be doing today. The heart. So, you click on it. And it just tells you. you're clicking on and then you hit make it Okay, so this is the mat that's over there on the Cricut machine, and it shows you the heart. So, I'll see you at the Cricut. Now I gotta go load my um, vinyl on the Cricut machine, and I'll be back. My machine is already turned on, and I know that I'm gonna do iron on, so I'm gonna dial it to iron on, because if not, once you load the vinyl, it's gonna tell you to dial it to the appropriate setting. So that's it. I'm gonna use this mat. That mat. That's the same mat that you see on the computer. I gotta um, load my vinyl onto this. Well, actually, it's sticky, and you just put it on the vinyl, and it sticks directly to it. But my my um, adhesive is gone because I've used it so much. So I'm gonna have to um, tape my vinyl down until I get a new um, mat. Stay tuned. Okay, now I have my vinyl <laughs> all glued down to the mat. You know, I wasn't going to let this stop me just because the adhesive is gone. Still, push forward, even when you have to do something different. So, you turn it shiny side out, sh shiny side down. Do the shiny side down when you're iron doing the iron on. Because you're going to cut it backwards. Like, you see what I'm talking about. So, you put it under those little grooves. You see those little grooves under there? Then you push it till you can't push it anymore. Press this little arrow and it's gonna feed the it's 
gonna pull it. See how it pulled it up under the roller? Weird. Let's see. Try that again. It's supposed to pull it. There it is. But it's crooked. We will be messing up because I'm doing a video. Technical difficulties. I had to actually guide it so it will pull it. So you see where it's pulled it up under those little rollers. And it's going to start cutting right here. And this is just some masking tape I got from the Dollar Tree and I just taped it down. Alright, then we'll go back over to the computer. So I got my vinyl loaded. Finally got my vinyl to load to the computer. I mean to the Cricut machine properly. And this is my heart. This is my image that I'm going to print out. And when you're doing iron on, you do you go to the mirror image. Because remember, I turned the um, vinyl upside down, shiny side on the bottom. So you have to cut it the same way. So you hit mirror, it'll flip that heart over. Can't really tell because it's a heart, but anyway. Then you just hit continue. And the machine will prompt you on what to do next. I've set the material, loaded tools in the mat, and it just tells you to press go. And that's this button right here flashing. So I press go. show you on here the percentage that you have left for it to be finished so that's a hundred so it's finished a hundred percent so you press this little blinking button to feed your mat back out and that's the heart it's a little smaller than the other one but that's okay and I'll show you what I'll do next I have a confession to make. Actually, that heart that I say, that's the that was the smaller heart that says I heart my family. That's why it didn't turn out as big as this one. But still, you still understand the concept. So we still gonna use this small heart. It's cut out. Can you see that? And so you take this weed tool and lift it up. Well, I gotta take I gotta take all this tape off first. directly on the shirt and just iron it straight down and then I will print out the word family. First I'll um, iron the heart down and then I'll put family on top once I've secured the heart. I'll be back. But everything that could go wrong went wrong in doing this tutorial. My um, internet start messing up so I was unable to print out the word um, family if you know me I ain't gonna give up I had some uh, projects that I had did in the past and I'm gonna put Leo in the middle of the heart just so I can finish this tutorial so 
also use the heart. Got my iron heating up. And you always get a um old washcloth, well, something, some type of berry. I'm gonna use this old washcloth in between the final and the um, iron. You never put it directly on it on the um final. So I'm gonna iron on this shirt out, warm it up a little bit before I put the vinyl on. center. Use my heart. So if you're comfortable that it's even, I just pretty much eyeball it. I lay this on top. Once you get it um, ironed down real good, you just pull this um, the covering off. Show your end product. 